Welcome to this short video demonstration of, how to configure the Tapman temperature controller. We recommend that you keep the operating manual that came along with the controller handy for reference. In case you do not have it then you can also download it from our website www.tapman.in. In this example, I will show you how to change the sensor from the default J-type thermocouple to PT100RTD sensor and change from the heat mode to cool mode. For the purpose of this demonstration we will need to connect a pair of wires to the power supply terminals of the controller. If your controller is already installed in panel then this step will not be required. Ok, let's start. Keep this button which is the set config button pressed and then apply power. This is easily done even when the controller is already installed in a panel. When the display shows CNF release the set config button. The display will now show ESC. Press the up button once, the display show SCN. That's the sensor selection parameter. Press the set button. The display now shows J, which is the default J type thermocouple. Now use either the up or down buttons to cycle through the different available sensors. When the display shows PTD, which is the PT100 DIN RTD sensor, press the set button. Use the up or down buttons to go through the different parameters until the out parameter, which is the heating or cooling mode parameter, is displayed. Select this parameter by pressing the set button. Again, use either the up or down buttons to change it to cool. We have selected the cool option in the out parameter. To save the changes we need to go to the ESC parameter and press set button. The controller will save these new settings and then restart. It is important to perform this last step before disconnecting power. Otherwise, the new settings will not be saved. The configuration can be locked by choosing the CNF option in the LOC parameter. Any 4 digit password can be set in the PAS parameter. Now configuration can only be done by a person who knows this password. If you found this video useful, please do like it and subscribe to get alerts as and when new videos are added. Thanks for watching.